Lessons, everyone. Thanks for checking out this video today. Uh, special time we are in a super new moon solar eclipse in Taurus. So, just want to give you a little bit of a download about this cycle that we're in right now. Eclipse windows are always very powerful times of the year. And we really started this window um, a, a couple weeks ago with a lunar eclipse. And <clears throat> The lunar eclipse is often a time where we're shedding and releasing. There's some emotional issues coming up that we, we often have to release ourselves of so that we can move forward into the next stage of our evolution. And the solar eclipse is often a time of new growth and, and, and seeding of uh, new intentions in our life. And often these phase shifts that the eclipses are involve uh, deep soul contracts in our life, very important people that come into our life during the eclipse window that may help us unfold our, our evolutionary story. And at the same time, we may have to close off cycles, sometimes close off certain relationships, end things in our life that aren't serving our evolution. Now, in the Tibetan tradition, um, the, the eclipses were often talked about as the most powerful times of the year, especially for meditation, contemplation, and, and really being quite careful full of care with our energy because the the karma seems to ripple out um, and a bigger effect. It, it, it seems to impact stronger during the eclipse window. Um, and so the Tibetan Buddhist tradition talks about the eclipses being uh, like days of observation, of going within, or of doing more internal work, or good, good days for ceremony, perhaps. Um, and Again, because the energy is more intensified during these, these cycles, um, we want to be putting out a lot of great energy right now. Um, and this includes really looking at what we're calling into our lives. You know, with, the, with a super new moon, uh, this new moon is, is interesting because it's a south node new moon. And where the south node is, there is a releasing of something but a release comes after a fruition stage. And the fruition stage is, this, this question is, what are we bringing to its completion right now? And is there any area of our life that may be draining us, taking too much of our energy? And is it really, really about what we want? Um, because we do need to set some, some powerful intentions during this super new moon. Um, if you felt, you know, somewhat, um, intense around the realm of relationship recently, that's because the, the eclipse that we just had on April 25th really impacted uh, the relationship realm um, in, in some big ways, asking us to look at what does it mean to have these soul contracts that we all have, and what are we willing to commit to in partnership. Now, um, this eclipse on May 9th, Thursday, May 9th, um, it's, a, it's a solar eclipse, it's not total, and it's not something we could see, but it is something that we will all feel. And if you have any planets near the degree of 19 Taurus, then, then you will feel this um, in, in relationship to that planet. If, if you have Venus nearby, you know, you, you will feel this very strongly around relationships, money, or creativity. If it's, if it's um, for instance, Saturn, it may be about your work, your professional work, some of the responsibilities in your life, and so on. So the planet that an eclipse touches, if it does, will be a planet of great transformation during this, this time period, but also for at least six months out. That degree of the eclipse is a very sensitive degree for at least another uh, six months, sometimes for a year out. Now, we do have another eclipse at the end of the month, the lunar eclipse, at uh, the fourth degree of Sagittarius. So that's another, again, uh, releasing. Sometimes the lunar eclipse, we feel more emotionally. Um, we may look at some of the, the needs that we have. And and yet, we are um, moving forward right now quite a bit. In this week, we may have felt a little bit low energy because this has been um, the balsamic phase of the moon before a, a super new moon or solar eclipse. But at the same time, this, this eclipse and right now where the sun is, is actually close to Mars and Mercury, so we may still have been quite activated during the cycle. Um, Mars and Mercury, both in Taurus, 
And that combination in an eclipse, we have to watch sort of fiery reactive words being highly irritable, combustible, we can say. And really take that energy and be motivated, driven towards our goals. It's a catalyzing energy, and especially towards mental projects with Mercury. But we want to be steady, solid, systematic, because that's, that's for us. And so um, this is a little bit about this eclipse. Last thing I wanted to mention is that in terms of human design right now, um, the second gate or the second hexagram is where this eclipse is landing. And the second he hexagram is called the receptive. And so this gate in design is actually at the, the diamond, yellow diamond center in your human design chart. And it's, this is the center of, of self-guidance, we could say. It's the center of direction. And this, this actual gate has a lot to do with the direction of the self. But it's, it's direction in the sense of what we're responding to. It's a response mechanism. And we're really looking at what have we received in our life and what is really present, what's coming up for us now. Presence and being uh, a, a receptive channel is a lot of what Taurus is about, you know, being abundant, receiving, and being, um, being uh, grateful for what we have in our life and then making decisions based off of uh, looking at what our resources truly are. So taking all the resources that we have and applying them towards our, our goals. This is a, a bit about this cycle that we're in right now and uh, really uh, excited to share with you this uh, with you all today. Hope you get some meditative time coming up. And um, if you're interested in going a bit deeper, check out soulalchemyastrology.com. That's my website. And um, there is a, actually a teleclass that I taught last week on the eclipses where we went really deep in this whole subject. And... Uh, I get some slight personal interpretations for everyone on the call. So if you're interested in that, it's still going to apply for you. Uh, so you can just uh, let me know, shoot me an email, and check out the uh, Art of Partnership course uh, because we are being pretty impacted uh, with our relationships. So that's a full course on our relationship intent through the lens of astrology, a really powerful, um, really beautiful synthesis of, of this, uh, this language. So... Thank you guys, and have a beautiful rest of your week, and may your eclipse be, be nourishing.